the way we make it is the traditional way of making bread. Kasi kadalasan yung mga pand pandesalan, they would try to put the cheapest ingredients to make a bigger profit. Eh. So kami, we wanted to just make sure that we give you a good bread that you can have every day. Twenty twenty was a year that turned our world upside down, where we had to adapt to this new normal. In these tough times, many of us turned to food as a source of comfort, while an enterprising few saw it as an opportunity to start fresh. These are the pandemic kitchens. Hi, I'm uh, Patrick Frias. I'm the owner of Pandelitos. I'm actually a carpenter by, by trade, but I'm a panadero at night. <laughs> All my siblings, naman, including my, my mom, left for the States, moved to the States. I decided to stay when I got married. So, yeah, I guess I still have this desire for the Philippines to, to become a better better country. Well, yung Pandelito started actually way back 2018. May desire lang ako to parang elevate the Pandesal. Eh. Uh, 2018, yung concept about doing that, pero hindi natuloy. So by 2019 naman, my mom, who lives in the U.S., had a stroke. I didn't know how long the, the treatment was going to be. Sabi ko, parang it was draining our, our savings already. So I was telling my wife, sabi ko, we need to have another source of income. So nabuhay yung idea ulit of Pandilito. So I, I went to visit her. Pag, pag punta ko naman, uh, by March, she passed away. So, tama-tama, I was there when she passed away. So, pag uwi ko, March 2020, it was already lockdown. So, I was telling our partner, sabi ko, so how are we doing? Sabi niya, we, we were allowed to open, being a food uh, business, but we were given, given curfews. A few months later, everything looked so hopeless, no? Parang ang dami nang wala ng trabaho, ang dami nagsasarang mga negosyo. And then ako, Living in Cainta, driving to Pasig where our branches were, I would see all these businesses closed. So, sabi ko, parang ang hopeless naman ito. So, there was a desire for me to open during pandemic. So, it was more of a personal thing with me. Sabi ko, makabawi man lang tayo ki, ki COVID. Sabi ko, parang in my term that time, sabi ko, maka yung pag may away, makasapak na lang ako ng isa kay COVID. So sabi ko, makabawi man lang ako. So I talked to my partner, sabi ko, is it okay? Sabi ko, bukas tayo ng pandemic. Sabi ko, sige. One, to makabawi nga sa COVID. Second, well, to give hope. And then third, obviously, to be able to give jobs kasi ang daming nawalan na trabaho. On the business side, sabi ko, kasi ang daming mga nice locations that were closing. So when they were closing down, sabi ko, perfect time na rin. Sabi ko, let's invest on it. So at least when the lockdown is over, nakapwesto na kami sa mga gandang location. Yung, yung, the way we make it is the traditional way of making bread. Kasi kadalasan yung mga pand pandesalan, they would try to put the cheapest ingredients to make a bigger profit. Eh. So kami, we wanted to just make sure that we give you a good bread that you can have every day. Ang pinaka complaint lang naman ng karamihan ng tao sa mga pandesal natin is pag binili mo ng umaga, sa hapon, matigas na. So yun yung unang-una kung gustong uh, i-improve. It's not airy. Hindi siya yung mahangin na pandesal. Maliit lang siya, siksik. If you weigh it, it's the same weight as a normal pandesal except hindi namin masyado siyang pinapaalsa. So five senses, we have the taste, you taste a, a better pandesal. When you come to our stores, we have uh, exhaust fans blowing out, so you smell the freshly baked bread. The people here will greet you, good morning, sir. You know, 
hindi lang yung ordinary pandesal. So, for the same amount you pay for a pandesal as where you get a complete, I guess, uh, experience with all your senses pag uh, sa pandesal. Nung pandemic, ang naging pinaka-struggle namin was obviously the people were not uh, going out anymore. Eh, pandesal kasi very commun community-based business pa rin yan eh. So as much as you have a good pandesal, the people who will buy from you are really your neighborhood. I think what uh, we learned during the pandemic is how to order online. Everyone is ordering online. So ngayon, nagugulat kami. Minsan, they'll order one bag of pandes pandelitos and they'll pay much more for a courier to send it to them. Nag-grow. Nag-grow yung uh, outlets natin for selling. We have resellers who will buy in bulk for a certain subdivision. Tapos, they'll resell it within their area. So, kung kaya natin mag-survive ng pandemic, kaya-kaya talaga natin. I took some more partners in and I said, if you're, if you're interested, we want to grow uh, uh, pandelitos. When we opened it, we had an inspiration from the John 6, which was the feed of feeding the 5,000. One time, we had an order on a Saturday for, I think, 2,000 uh, pesos worth of bread. So, binake namin, nagkamali pala ako, instead of it being 2,000 pesos, it was, uh, instead of it being 2,000 pieces, 2,000 pesos lang pala. So, sumobra ako ng 1,000 pieces na, na tinapang. Sabi ko, ano gagawin natin? Sarado tayo ng Sunday. So, sabi ko, sorry. Sabi, but give it to me. Pack it na lang. I'll go around and give it, give it to the people. That Sunday, I packed all the bread in the car. And I, wala akong direction. I just went in the car and drove around. And I was led to give to yung mga street people. Yung mga homeless talaga. Kuya, pandesal. Realizing na sinasabi nila, ilang araw na silang hindi nakakain. Tapos, o, yun lang yung pagkain nila sa araw na yun. So, parang sabi ko, oh, grabe, uh, pandesa lang ito. In fact, magkano lang yun kasi nasobra lang naman namin yun na was giving it. So, I felt overwhelmed na sabi ko, kailangan kong ituloy. Friends would hear about it. Tapos, yung, yung growing, the feeding of the 5,000, the multiplication came from them. But, can I, can I give also? Hindi kami makalabas, but can I can I give this much bread? So, sabi ko, sige, sa bigay. Iba naman, Pat, I have canned goods. Can you give it together with your padesal? Sabi ko, sige. And then, iba nagbigay. Too big. So, that, it, it multiplied through that. So, so yun. Tuloy-tuloy yun pag Sunday. Yung pasalamat nila kasi is so much more than yung binibigay mo. Na feeling mo, parang tinapay lang binibigay ko. Bakit parang sobra kang grateful? If everybody starts giving, it will be a much better world. Hey, at morning po. Parang may makain naman. Eh, konti lang. Morning. Ingat po. Bye -bye. Our pandelitos somehow found its way in other countries. Now we had friends who would come home and bring it to other countries or bring it back to where they live. We had uh, balik bayans who will take it home with them. And even here, meron kami mga customers na mga foreigners. And uh, I think people are starting to realize that uh, that cheapest bread or most humble bread in our panaderia is really something that people will be uh, or the Filipinos will be proud of and through Pandelitos will give our share of uh, what our bread what our Filipino bread uh, is supposed to be or is.